Yes, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new day, brand new day, I'm all excited. I gotta be excited, I gotta be excited. This topic is a hot topic, get it? Hot topic. I would tell all you people out there, this is not the day of prayer, this is day of the angels in the, in the world today. Now, I'm not talking about angels as human beings, I'm talking about angels in the heavens. Uh, people say, hey, you're an angel, you saved me. You saved me for uh, danger. Well, that's not what kind of angel I'm talking about. I'm talking about the angels in the heavens, that kind of angel. The angels who are in a choir singing the harmonized verse. It's like, I call it soothing music. I call it like soothing music. It's like when you first time when you hear it, you'd be ecstatic. Uh, when the first time you hear it, it's like angel, beautiful white angels in front of you. It's like around you. Imagine that. Just dream that up. Just dream that up. Okay, so beautiful angels. We need to hear. We need to hear the beautiful angels in the heavens. It's like it's like going to church and you hear beautiful music. That's the kind of angels I'm talking about. Uh, the angels they sing it in a 432 hertz. That's the tone they sing it at. Um, go look it up if you people don't want to know. Want to know what? Of 432 hertz are all about. Go look on YouTube videos. Type it in, and you'll, they'll tell explain to you in, in tutorials or explain it to you in a way that you know what 432 uh, hertz are all about. So 432 hertz is in sound waves. They call it sound waves. Uh, uh, one guy explained it on YouTube once about what 432 hertz is. HZ. They call it HZ. And hurts. And uh, by the way, we're going to talk about angels. Angels are real. We got a heaven and a hell. I'm not going to talk about the hell part. We're going to talk about the angels in the heavens. It's like going to a church and seeing harmonized people singing a choir. It's like that. But with angels, the, uh, the angels above the clouds and this in our skies are singing in their singing tone. Uh, it's like you uh, slowing down the song in an 800, uh, it's like slowing down the song really slow and hearing angels really, I call it the thuti, I call it the thuti, it's like um, in the right tone, in the right music tone, yeah, your ears couldn't believe it, your, it's, like, it's like your ears couldn't believe it, yeah. It's like a beautiful moment. It's like uh, angels are singing in their choir up in the heavens. It's not the choir in the, uh, in the churches. It's uh, like here in angels, they come through equipment like mixers, mixing consoles. And it's, now, it's not malfunction to the equipment. It's just angels want to be seen and heard. That means being up there, bring, uh, bringing their voice to, the, to this earth, to this planet, to this world. And let them, they want to be heard just like you and I. They want to be heard. And it's like it's like a, it's like a, it's like an angels. They have wings. Remember, these angels have wings, real wings. As humans on the planet, as you and I, as kids, parents to mom and dad to sons and daughters, we don't have wings. We're not attached to wings. We need uh, electronics. We need uh, we not electronics, but we need a thing that would impel us to go up in the sky. Like uh, I'll give you an example, like NASA. Just to be a, a, just to give it name recognition, um, NASA, where it builds these rockets, these beautiful rockets. You see, and, and it's like engineering. It's like the old word they would say, engineering. Um, the uh, engineer that people come to appreciate. This is like man's best times in the world. They're creating something, right? They're creating something. They're creating a very special a NASA thing, which is called a space shuttle. The space shuttle will take humans, just like you and I, up, up in the sky. Not just down the Earth's ocean floors, but way up in the sky. Imagine that, a defeat that NASA does. You'd be surprised what NASA does, folks. You'd be surprised. Uh, but but that's, that's NASA, folks. If you want to go to NASA, be ready and go, you know, as they say, go and do that. Because you'll learn a lot from NASA. It, you, they have TV stations that will tell you all this stuff. Uh... But like I said, we're talking about angels. The word I'm describing is angels. Not in the Bible. The Bible does describe angels. But the angels I'm talking about are real angels. They have wings and you'll see them flying up in the clouds. These are white angels. It's like a choir around you. It's like you stand here. Angels are almost around you. Almost. 
Yeah. And they want to be heard. They want to be seen and heard. Uh, if you look at thumbnails on YouTube, you'll know what angels are all about. We see them in terms of our eyes. Uh, and uh, yeah, they just want to harmonize their music. Their music. Angels want to be seen and heard. I'm not kidding, folks. It's not a malfunction to your equipment. Uh, it's uh, to do with angels. They want to be seen and heard in every vast majority of our lives. Yeah, if, if it's angels to save humans, that's great. That's wonderful. Yeah, angels are like uh, miracle workers in a way. They heal us. They, uh, if we're sick, they'll heal us. If there's a car accident, they'll be there in in moments they need. They don't always appear, but they're in our lives. I want to say that for the record. They're in our lives, and every single vast majority of our lives. And um, that's what I'm talking about. Angels. These are uh, one person would describe angels as uh, angelic angels. They call it angelic angels, and they sort of look like that. Uh, if you see them on cameras, like caught on camera videos, you'll know what angels all about. These are videos that were caught on camera. Angels were caught on camera uh, uh, from your video camera and seen on video. You'd be blown away. Uh, every time I like to talk about the paranormal, like it's like it's like it's uh, food to me in a way. Yeah, and we're all human on this planet, but there's such thing as God and angels. And uh, I'm not going to talk about the hell. Hell is descri uh, described as really in hell. And these are people that are screaming the lights out of the Jesus, say, "Jesus, we need to be saved. We're in hell." But anyway, anyway, folks, there is a heaven, there is a hell, real angels, real God. And uh, they describe that in the Bible. And uh, I just, uh, go type in angels singing. That's the way that it sounds. You'd be surprised at videos on YouTube. You'd be very much surprised. And those are videos on there. I kid you not, on YouTube. Just type it in the search engine. Say, angels singing. That's it. And you'll see videos coming up in the, uh, in the in YouTube uh, index sections. Yeah. And yeah, real angels, they're here to uh, be messengers. And also God is messengers too, to our fellow humans. They're not like, it's not like uh, witchcraft. It's not like, um, it's not like, uh, it's not like the demons or anything. It's kind of like angels, real angels with wings. It, humans don't have wings. They really don't. Uh, what we need in this world, uh, NASA is beautiful because way they do their, do their, uh, we're going to pray. It's the national of uh, prayer. And this is beautiful. This is much beautiful. Angels are real, folks, in a vast majority of our lives, if I could say like anybody else would say. Uh, we have real angels, and um, we're not praying to the angels. We're praying because God wants us to pray. Now, I'm speaking for a way I saw videos on YouTube. No, these are angels. If you hear beautiful music from the angels, you'd be surprised. You'd be very much surprised. Um, they want to be seen and heard. Um, uh, now, you can get videos that would say, uh, caught on camera with these angels as they fly above our clouds. Uh, and, uh, yes, these are not pastors. I don't know if they've seen angels or heard of angels. Or the people that work in churches, seen angels, or you know, God or Jesus Christ or Lord and Savior, but uh, they do pray. They do what God wants us to do, essentially. And I just, I just want to open to you. I just want to open to uh, to really scrutiny, or not really scrutiny, but I want to tell you guys, angels are real, okay, folks. Uh, these are angels caught in camera uh, with a video camera. Uh, these are angels with wings. Humans do not have wings. We need, uh, uh, like, NASA or something else to get us up there. Uh, uh, rockets versus NASA. NASA does beautiful things. They do engineering stuff. Uh, thank God for NASA for being what they are doing. Thank you for, for NASA doing what they do. And uh, engineering is beautiful. As I would advise anybody to see NASA. Um, I know they're trying to do the good. They always uh, NASA always does great things, and I'm not... Just toot my horn here, folks. NASA are achieving the ultimate achieve. We can, uh, 
In the near to the future, guess what, folks? Near to the future, we'll be having humans to another planet. Can you believe this? Fly to another planet in the near to the future. Can you believe this? Stop that for a sec. Another planet. I don't want to leave this planet, folks. That's my that's my uh, role on all of this. I don't want to leave this planet. I want to live and die here. I don't want to go anywhere, okay? Unless this world is a habit, I'll leave this planet. Uh, but until then, I'm going to live and die just like everybody else. I'm going to live and die, and hopefully my Lord and Savior will be there for me. And I want to I want to wish everybody uh, a, a prayer, a prayer, amen to that. And uh, remember, folks, angels are real. It's not like nobody told me this. Angels are flipping real. Um... So I will put this in, in a uh, high text lettering. Okay, so we got a prayer. We're international Prayer of Day, and uh, I just want to uh, thank God we have Donald Trump in the presidency. I want to want to give uh, I want to give kudos where kudos do. Donald Trump is the man to be or the person in uh, Commander in Chief of the White House. He's great at what he does. I know people don't agree with him, but I like him. I like the guy. Uh, not always like him, not always hear, uh, always like what he says, but I do like the person. You know, as I, I said, for, like uh, my beliefs in this, I like I like the man, but I don't like what he says. That's all I'm saying. I like the man who's Donald Trump, but I don't like what he says out there to the public. It's just, it's, <laughs> it's, there, it's kind of like redundant kind of thing. But anyway, um, and he's not godlike. He's not always the man in you know, the guy in the White House. He's not our Lord and Savior. you got to have God to believe what you believe in. And uh, my friend is always have this uh, so-called uh, belief system in the Lord. He reads the Bible. He, it's like, uh, for him, it's like food for thought for him. He loves to tell people, you know, you got to be in the faith. Gotta, <laughs> and uh, if he was here, he would tell you that, seriously. And not to, not to toot my horn or be funny about it. He'll tell you in a good way. He'll let you know that we need to all pray for, uh, you know, our Father who, you know, in the heavens. Not our Father who we have in our family. That That's good. That's good and everything. But the Father of our world today, because we're all going to meet our Maker, folks. We're all going to meet our Maker. And, uh, I mean, it's sad when we have to say these things, but it's true. I'm going to leave this planet. I'm going to live and die. I was born. I'm going to die. That's it. Uh, I'm not going to leave this planet. This is the planet where I was born. I'm not going to leave anywhere. So you can rest assured, everybody, I'm not going to leave this planet unless this planet is on habit and someone told me that we got to leave this planet. Uh, but we're not going to leave this planet, folks. I'm going to live and die and... Uh, <laughs> and, die, and live to another day, live to another day, at least live another day, okay? Um, it's not always a uh, doom and gloom in the world. It's not like people are telling you that the world is what it is. I get it, I get it. It's not always doom and gloom. We have, we have, we put in place everything, the police to uh, law enforcement, to everything to keep us safe. But once we leave this world, we can't have God. That's our... That's our Lord and Savior. It doesn't matter if you're in the court systems. It doesn't matter if you're with the police. It doesn't matter with your law enforcement. Our last, last time we leave this world is with our Lord and Savior. That's the guy who... Anyway, enough I said, folks. I know I uh, go on and on about this, but angels are real. It doesn't matter who the angel is. It could be a man or woman, child. Uh, uh, they always call it, in quotations, child. And the description is, no matter what the age is, it's a child, right? Um, and uh, it can go from w one years old to about 12 years old. Uh, we're all going to be our maker. Um, and it's sad when people pass away. We all, we all say, rest in peace and uh, be done with it. That's not it. We've got to celebrate. We've got to celebrate the people who passed away. The celebration, folks. I, I, I mean, the day in healing. I got. I got to set an example. I learned from my friends, so I'm gonna learn from you people. Yeah, I got to worship. Got to tell Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we need to be saved about this evil, evil uh, coronavirus 19. It's doing us not good, not bad. Jesus is probably weeping about all this. He, he's and not just us being human and crying about it, but God is. God is weeping to our world. What we have. You know, from our coronavirus to uh, social distancing to the uh, 
everything else that you heard out there. It's really, really, it's really uh, to a constitution for the Americans, to uh, First Amendments, to every amendment set out there. It's riddle away. And uh, I'm saying it for the folks who do videos for a living. Um, we got to hold these people ac accountable, uh, tyrants, to the... Uh, uh, we got to hold these people accountable. They're not evil people. They're not evil people. They're out there to do good. Whatever good is for them. <laughs> you know, these are... Uh, the uh, Law enforcement are only there to hold down the fort. They call it holding down the fort. Uh, and make sure you're safe. Make sure you're not in the trouble. You're not, uh, you know... Uh, give, the, uh, give your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus and he'll do the rest. Okay, folks, we are in healing. We're in uh, desperate need of healing. And I want to say, this is the end of the podcast. Thank you for everybody. Dave Nation is here to stay for the future and beyond. Until I'm no longer in the world, someone's going to take over my stuff. And until then, to my last breath, to my last words, just like uh, Caitlin Nicole Davis, rest in peace for her. And, uh, yeah, she was 12 years old. She hanged herself, committed suicide on a live stream, sad as that was. Um, but we got to say, um, it was terrible for her to do that, but I've said it so many times. Uh, we don't always want to commit suicide. I think I'm not going to go in uh, in big story about her life, but uh, she had siblings. She was trying to be like the adult in the room. Uh, she was trying to up... She was trying to hold the fort. She had siblings to deal with. She had to do a whole lot of things at age 12. Can you imagine? A little girl at age 12. Had to deal with the adults. Had to deal with the situation the adults had to go through. Uh, you know, every single day. You don't have to do this. But uh, she vlogged out, told everybody what her... It's like, a, it's like a journal. It's like a journal in her life. And, uh, yeah, whatever you need to say, go say it out there. It, it's going to be out there. It's going to be out there. For everyone to see, and uh, many people chimed in the way that she uh, she uh, hanged herself on a tree. That's why I've heard from the stories. That was not good. People didn't like it. She still uh, people uh, spread love because of what she did. Uh, yeah, she to uh, told everybody told that in the comments, and we know who her parents were. Uh, we saw in the photos about that, uh, but we all need healing. We all need healing in this world. And, uh, yes, pray for the highest pride. And tenfold, tenfold, we're all going to come back. And I want to say thank you for everybody. I know I said this little girl's name. It was sad at the time. I know everybody saw it. It was sad at the time. Where was her parents? I don't know. Um, but, yeah, it's her faith. Uh, she uh, foreshadowed what she was going to do. I know nobody stopped her, but see, she said it on one of her videos. Uh, that was sad. That was sad. People were... I don't know if they were crying, upset about the whole thing. Uh, but, yeah, it was just like, and now nowadays people give praise to this little girl who passed away. I mean, at age 12, young 12-year-old girl. Crazy as that may seem. Anyway, anyway, we all need Jesus in our lives. Thank you very much. Let's start the healing right now, everybody. Let's start the healing right now. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, amen to that, eh? <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you, everybody. Podcast Dave Nation is back, and I'm still, I'm still alive until the last breath, the last words. I'll see you guys on the next podcast. Until then, I'm Dave Nation. We got some singers in the background. Uh, praise the Lord, our Lord and uh, Lord and Savior. Amen, everybody. Amen. Eh? I'm preaching to the choir. Just preaching to the choir. I need healing. I need healing, everybody. Healing. Anybody? Anybody? Anyway. We are back. I'm feeling, I'm feeling God is in my presence. God is in my presence. We need healing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's like it's come back tenfold. Thank you. The Lord and Savior Jesus, we are praised to the highest high. The tenfold. I cry. I cry every night. I cry every day. This bothers me so much. But Jesus, well, you could be healed. You could be healed, my friend, my child. You could be healed. <laughs> you just gotta believe in me believe in who I am as a person and God will take the rest thank you everybody good night everybody thank you I hope you liked this podcast I enjoyed it hope you guys out there hit that like button hit that subscribe button you'll get more videos from me I know you can do that because you guys are YouTubers out there I really appreciate that thank you good night everybody good night